Today I'm going to show you how to modernize your taskbar. If you're too afraid of using Windows 11 right now, or you just kind of want to get that Windows 11 fix, then keep on watching. I'm kidding, I'm not a car salesman. Anyways, go to the first link in the description and you will see Rounded Taskbar. Click on Get, then click Open Microsoft Store. Then it should open up the Microsoft Store. All you need to do is click Get, then click Install at the top. I've already done that. Next up, you need to go to the second link in the description, and you need to scroll down and click on tclock.zip. You need this specifically for the V2.4.4, or else it won't work. Then you also need to go to the third link in the description. And what you need to do is you need to go into this little thing, click on download, then you need to select these two options and click next, and it should download both of those files. Now, once you download everything, all you need to do is double click on these VC Redis, both of them. You just need to double click on it and install it. I've already done that already, but it's basically just click next, accept the license agreement, go through the whole thing, very straightforward. Next up, you need to click on T-Clock, then right-click it and click Extract All, then press Extract. And what it will do is it will open up a folder here, and this is how we get T-Clock actually installed, in a sense. The main thing you want to keep in mind is that if you delete this T-Clock folder, you won't be able to use T-Clock. Now, I'm going to start off with the rounded taskbar application because that's most of the heavy lifting, and it kind of explains why I'm using the T-Clock and a whole bunch of other things. So press on the Windows Start menu and click on Rounded TB. You might have to search for it if you didn't just install it. But in that case, just click on it and nothing will happen. And that's because you need to go to the bottom right on the taskbar. Then you need to right click rounded TB and click show RTB. When you do that, it'll pop up this little window here and you need to set a couple options. So there's margin, which is basically how far away from the edge of the actual taskbar is going to be removed. So in this case, if I set it to 10, it's going to be way too much. And if I click apply, as you can see, it shrinks the taskbar way too much. So what I'm going to do is reduce it to something very small, like maybe two. Two is not too bad. I'm going to go with three for this one. And I feel like that looks good enough for me. Now, if I change the corner radius, it will make it so that the corners are rounded. Once again, if I do 10, it might be a little too much. In this case, it's just a tiny bit too much. So I'm going to crank it down to maybe five. That's good enough for me. Once again, you can tinker with it however you want. Now, do you notice something a little weird? On the bottom right hand corner of our screen, this clock looks way too big for the taskbar and it just looks out of place. So using T clock, we are going to reduce the size of the clock to something a lot more manageable that makes it look better. So go back to your downloads folder and you'll go to the T clock folder. And all you need to do is double click on T clock 64 or sorry, clock 64. And when you open it up, you'll notice, damn, my clock has changed. Now I've already changed my clock, but I'm just going to go through the settings really quick. All you need to do is right click the clock, go to T clock options, then it'll pop up with this window here. And all you need to do is go to time format. And this is where you get to customize a whole bunch of stuff. So before this is how it usually looks, if I recall correctly, something like that. All you need to do is just uncheck the date options or customize it literally however you want. So once you kind of just tinker through the menu and you say, okay, that looks good enough, then you can click apply. And now you have the clock, but the text looks a little weird. So go to clock text, and this is where you can actually change the font to whatever you want. Now, if you want the actual Microsoft font, and I totally didn't Google this, you need to look for Sego Sego UI font. So scroll down Sego UI, and now that's the original Microsoft font. You could change the size of it if you want. So like 11, well, that's, that's way too much, 10. Basically, you could do whatever. You could also bold it. You could change a whole bunch of options about it. In all honesty, chances are just stick it to Sego, uncheck bold. So in the bottom section here, this actually allows you to adjust the height of the clock. As you can tell, the clock is not very centered. So if I go to vertical down here and I subtract some numbers, I can get it basically really close to the center. That's good enough and it actually doesn't look out of place. Once you set it up exactly how you want it, click apply. Now, once we set up the clock, there's only one more thing we need to do. We just need to put these icons into the little drop down menu so they disappear. And we need to remove this little notification center thing. So right click on your taskbar, go to taskbar settings, then it will open up with the settings. You need to scroll down and look for turn system icons on or off, click on that. Then you can turn off the clock if you really wanted to. So that's probably the cleanest look, but then you can also turn off the uh, action sensor. And at this point you will have a clock that is pretty much perfectly kind of aligned. And once again, if you don't like how it's too much to the right, all you got to do is just right click on the clock, T clock options. Then in this little clock text menu here, you can change the horizontal positioning to whatever you want. In this case, I like this setting here, minus four, minus one, click apply. And that's it, baby. Now I got a cool modern taskbar.
And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now, how do we undo all these changes to go back to normal? Well, first off, you need to remove the icons from the little hidden menu so you can just drag them out and they'll be back to normal. We also need to get our action center menu thing back. So right click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, then scroll down, click on turn system icons on or off. Then you need to turn on action center. Now that's back. Now we need to reset our clock. So right click your clock and click exit T clock. You need to do this, trust me. Then once you exit T-Clock, go back into your downloads. Then you can delete the T-Clock folder. If you don't exit out of T-Clock, you won't be able to delete the folder. And then doing that, you can also delete the T-Clock zip file and all the installers. Then we need to get rid of the rounded taskbar. So click on your taskbar menu, right click on this RTB rounded taskbar thing and click close RTB that will reset it. Then press the start menu, type add or remove programs and press enter. Then search for rounded TB. Click on it, click on install, click on install, and kaboom. Fastest uninstall procedure on planet Earth. Speedrun any percent getting banned from YouTube. And that's the end of the video. In the next video, I'll show you how to make a redstone calculator.